So hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Just Dre, and today you guys, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. Well, I finished like majority of my face right now. <laughs> I have like I really have, but um, it's Thanksgiving and I thought, hey, y'all deserve a video for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I'm gonna give y'all a video for Thanksgiving. Um, honestly, it's just gonna be like a rant or just like me, like a little chit chat with me Thanksgiving day or whatever. I don't know exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about a lot of stuff. Um, I want to talk about why I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, it's the day of genocide. I don't do Black Friday, Thanksgiving. So, yeah, let's get into that. Um... What is that shit called? What is it called? What is it called? Oh, yeah. So, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. It's a day of genocide. I don't do Black Friday because of its true origins, and especially during slavery time. I know some of y'all, shit, I'm just been wasting water, bro. I am free. Yeah, yeah. Come water me. Like, it's origins and slavery. And I know y'all be like, that's, a, that's just what I believe. So, I don't do Black Friday. And I never was really into Black Friday, even before I knew the origin of it. Because I used to, like, have a little small business or I always thought, like, businesses have to make money. So, even on Black Friday, they're not losing money. A business always has to constantly make money. So, if they're selling something, that means they don't need to hijack the price up. Come here, boo. Uh. Oh, and wholesale is like a motherfucker. So, if you can buy something wholesale or, like, whatever, like, you know, the true meaning of business. So, either way it goes, especially with these big companies, you're making big money. So, with that being said, if you're making big money off of this, you're going to make money on Black Friday. So, for the rest of the year, you already going to make money. So, even if, so even if you hypothetically don't do well, you're still doing well. Like, some of y'all favorite boutiques be selling clothes out the ass for prices. That's what you call it. But since they're such a big company, they can kind of get away with um things like um overselling to y'all and jacking up the prices. And I know y'all be like, but, no, but, like, no. Like, the outfit that you paid $50, $75 for on Fashion Nova is, like, literally a dollar in the fucking warehouse. And it's made from remnant fabrics. Or the fabrics that they don't use or whatever. But you say, oh, I spent so much money on this outfit. And it's so cute. Like, I'm not denying that it's not cute. I'm just saying, like, let's be real. They have, business have to make a profit. So, even before I believed the, what I believed. Um, yeah. Um. But, I will take a moment to be grateful and show some gratitude out here in these streets. Um, I'm grateful for my new job. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could like take off my uh, vision board, but like it took me forever to stick it on that. And I'm not gonna take that bitch off just to show y'all. But my vision board shit has been coming true and it really makes me happy. Um, yeah, Um, I've been talking like before, like me and my brother, the one that lives in Mississippi, and I'm finna watch this game tonight. I know I'm be tired as fuck. But I'm finna watch this game today. And um, when I go to work, I'll be... Oh, I'm asleep here Friday. I don't care. But I'm finna at least watch the game. I might not even watch it because he's not even playing. And he already told me who's gonna do. But, uh, like, I'm getting that relationship back with him. And since I'm getting a relationship back with him, like, it just kind of, like, makes my day more so. Because that's something that I was like that I was saying for years. Like, oh me and my brother gonna have a great relationship. We finna have that relationship that we had before. And now whatever it's happening. And um yeah. So I was like, Oh, I put it out there in the world and I never changed it no matter how bad shit got. Like I remember it was a one point in time where I was like, Man, you just mad fucking annoying and I was like, Oh <sighs> we still you still gonna love me. We're gonna have a relationship one day. And to this day, well, right now so far, there has been no, like, real arguments. And we actually talk, like, like, we talk, like, that's my nigga. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, that's my brother. Like, real ride or die shit. 
You know how they say like real hot girl shit? Like real ride or die shit. So. So with that being said. I've been noticing that my affirmations have been good. So I've been watching my words more often. So when I get upset, that's why I like not say anything. Because I don't want to fuck up the affirmations that I've already put out there in the world. That I said that I want to actually happen in real life. Like. I said that, like, <laughs> like I said that me and my family will get along or whatever, right? Cool beans. And I just got to a point where I think I kind of canceled it out because I was like, fuck it with my, like, mom and dad and other family, like, who could, couldn't see the big picture. And I was just like, fuck it. It is what it is. It's going to be what it's not. And it's not, like, it's what it, like, nothing I can't change. <clears throat> But, yeah, but for the most part, my affirmations haven't come in true. Um, yeah, what else? Um, friends. Um, I'm glad I lost some fr- a lot of friends. Um, at first, I lost a real good friend, or so I thought. And um, she was just like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, a, like she liked to be in control all the time. And for me, like, I'm more of a free spirit type person. Like, you can't, like, you're not going to, like, rule over me. And I'm nice and all, but I ain't nice like that. So, for me, when she was doing what she was doing, I kind of felt bad for her because um, because of the friendship that we had. And I would tell her, like, I didn't feel comfortable around her anymore. Like, I remember when we first was friends, like, I could be around her, no problem, you know, whatever. Now, if I come try to come around her, it's like, okay, cool beans. Like, she so called me being her best friend and all, but then I never been to her apartment, but she had another, like, she had, like, some dude in there cooking for her and, like, putting up shit or whatever. And I was thinking, like, oh, if I had my own place or whatever and I had a so-called best friend, these motherfuckers be the first one there, like furniture no furniture and then it's like for the fact that you to have like somebody over there and you talking about something you don't want me to come unless it's perfect and then you then you changing up the story then there's something else like the apartment thing like really made me realize like this bitch ain't really my friend like I think she is and I was kind of glad that it was as well because we supposed to be going to DR like <laughs> literally we supposed to be going to DR together and I'm kind of glad that I didn't go like I'm happy that she's in DR I'm glad that she like gets you know whatever but at the end of the day, like, that hurt me. Because if we're really, really friends, like you say we are, I expect, you know, a different level. Because I don't really have friends like that. And I don't really associate with a lot of people like that. That's why, that's why I'm like, that's why I try to be close with my family. Like, I'm very close to my grandma. Like, my grandma is, like, literally my best friend, Okay. Like, we talk about everything. Like, we talk about me hunching, like, me and my emotions, me and my depression, me and my anxiety. Like, me and my grandma are here. Like, we may not see eye to eye all the time, but at the end of the day, like, that's my ace boom queen. That is my lady. Like, I like, I'm a, like, I, like, if you, like, if you, like, if you get to talking crazy, I'm a, you know, I'm a get crazy with you. When it comes down to my grandma. And I know some of you are like, oh, but it's everybody, Grandma. But no, like, I, like, like, I, like, it's very few people that I go, like, crazy for. Like, my brother, the one that's autistic, like, the two youngest ones, I'm gonna go crazy for them. Like, it don't matter when, where, how. I'm gonna be, what? What was that? Hmm? I'll wait. Like, cause, like, I don't play that. Especially about the people who I really fuck with. Um, also, um, yeah. So, just, like, losing friends and shit. And then, like, not getting the same reciprocation. Like, I started working a new job. And my hours are, like, really crazy. Like, I literally work from 6.30 at night to 7 o'clock in the morning. But I work three to four days a week. And I can pick up um, overtime if I want. Like, because the fourth day is, like, mandatory overtime. Which I know we're going to have mandatory overtime because it's the holiday season. But it's whatever, because that overtime pay is looking lovely. Um, if it wasn't, it'd have to kiss my motherfucking black ass. But, um, yeah. Um, 
I still made time for them. Like, even, like, even, like, even when I, would, like, got off of work or, like, on my break, like, I would, like, call or text. And, mind you, our breaks aren't that, well, I don't want to really say, like, they're not long. <laughs> like, they're long enough, but, like, to do everything and, like, trying to, de- like, I still made time. And the fact that it wasn't getting reciprocated back to me, it made me feel some type of way because I was like, oh, this is nice because, what, sarcastically, like, this is, you know, nice or whatever, when in reality it wasn't because I was really hurting, like, bro, like, that shit hurts. Um, yeah, because you can't tell me that you're busy because I have a whole YouTube channel, I do shit outside of YouTube, um, and even, like, and even when I take my days off, like, I still make time for you, so, on my day, for my personal days, like, that I'm, like, no one or, like, nobody fuck with me. Nobody talk to me. Like, nobody be there. Like, I still made time for you. And what did you do? Like, you shitted on me. So, why would I sit there and be like, oh, yeah, whatever. Like, oh, you're busy? Cool beans. I totally understand because I'm not going to understand. Because the shit that I do in a friendship, I feel like it should be reciprocated back. I'm not going to be the only motherfucker that's putting in and I'm not getting. Only thing I'm getting out of it is like, oh, yeah, I thought about you. Well, I'm going to come up here like, no, save up your coins and shit and then let's go do something. Like, no. But, yeah. Um... I just lost like some friends, friends, and it's, it's, I mean, it is what it is. Like you live, you learn and you just keep shit moving and you like, I guess have to move forward cause you have to, but, um, I do my lashes so wrong, <laughs> but no, like, um, seriously though, um, I'm grateful for like losing friends. I'm actually grateful. I gained a friend. She's like a mom. She kind of reminds me like of me and a lot of times like, I didn't realize how important connection was until, like, I started hanging out with her. And then she reminds me so much of myself. But the only thing is she's just, ki- she just has kids and she's older. And when I say, like, she reminds me of myself, like, she's just, like, reminds me of me. And she helps me in ways. And I guess I help her in ways. I don't fucking know. But apparently I help her. I got glue. I got five. <coughs> Can't go on my white top, bro. Don't know. I just bought this shit, bro. Shit, man. Fuck me. Um, but no, like, connection is very important because I didn't realize that I needed a real friend. Well, when I say like a real female friend, because I have like a real male friend, but like a real female friend who at the end of the day, when it comes down to everything... <sighs> was gonna have my back like I needed them to because it be days where like if I'm wrong she gonna tell me I'm wrong and if I'm right she gonna tell me I'm right and she's like just like we have like this really weird connection like I feel like I've known her my whole entire life but versus when I was with the girl for three and a half years I felt like damn you know what I'm saying like fuck like it was just like playing Russian oh man that looks like a cum stain It felt like I had to, like, force myself to be around her, like, force communication. And I don't like forcing nothing. I feel like if I have to force something, then it's not meant to be. And if it's not meant to be, then that's cool. Like, I can like, I can take an L because I get it in some pl- same places I would not fit in. Like, because <laughs> I don't even fit in with my family. I, t- I don't. It's ridiculous. But, no, like, I really, like, do not fit in with my family, like, half the time. So, like, I felt like I was, like, trying to force myself to, like, fit into her world. And, yeah. And then, just that close little eye. Like, I know you're trying to be the dominant eye right now. We need to be submissive. But, yeah. Um, speaking of being submissive, um, I have been dating and honestly, I can say, um, my exes, the ones that I'm cool with, that I actually can, like, have a powwow with and be real with, the ones that I was friends before we started dating or, like, were cool before we started, tried to date each other. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, 
they were like just like they give me like the real real till spill like real spill tea and they have my best interest at heart and i know a lot of y'all can't say that about y'all exes but like me and my exes like we may talk shit with each other and they be like you need to thug it out don't get all soft with me now and i'll be like <laughs> Yeah, my exes do not let me be soft. I be so mad. I be like, I'm not even going to cry. He like, man, fuck that shit. You're going to cry later. Yeah? Coming?